you don't know about this, but we've got a surprise for you. Okay. And it's sitting behind you. I'm going to go and grab it. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to a very special video today. I'm privileged to be able to sit down today with Chris Caro, and he was a former commanding officer in the Royal Marines during the Falklands conflict. I'm going to ask him about some of his experiences and also some of the things he's been up to with the Royal British Legion since then. But I'm also going to do something really special. This is a five ounce silver masterpiece coin that we bring out every year for the Royal British Legion. It's very difficult to get your hands on because it's very limited edition. I'm going to give one of these to Chris. He doesn't know anything about that. So stay tuned to right to the end of our chat to see his reaction. What I'm going to do is close the lid, put it in its box and hide it here behind my shoulder. He's going to come and sit here. So as you watch him and hear some of his fascinating stories, I'm sure you'll know that he's going to get this at the end. So he'll be here any minute. Let me move and you can come and sit here in my place. Chris, welcome. Thank you, Jonathan. Great thank to you. be here. No, th thank you for joining us. It's Pleasure. a privilege to have you with us. I want to start right back at the beginning for you, actually. What, what was your inspiration for joining the military in the first place? Uh, I went to school locally, uh, just outside Bournemouth, and the CCF was sponsored by Royal Marines Pool. So as a young lad, I was down there having a look and going on the range and everything. And I thought, yep, these are the guys that, uh, great respect, I'd like to join them when I leave school. So it was purely from the CCF that uh, I ended up uh, joining the Royal Marines, yeah. So, so you've had two years of training, you've gone into conflict. Is there anything in particular about the, that time in the Falklands that kind of really stands out to you? What, what was a key moment? The reason the Argentinians inv invaded has been talked about and written about for years. Uh, why did we go down? We went down to retake the Falklands, but it was only when we went into Douglas Settlement uh, and we were the first troops in and the settlers had literally just managed to break out of where they'd been confined by the Argentinians and they came up and hugged us and kissed us, there were tears. Mm -hmm. And thereafter it was, it was for them, that was the moment when you really realised that these poor guys, uh, you know, the Argentinians had come in and basically been told that the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the islanders were going to welcome them with open arms and they didn't. The Queen, it was red and white, uh, curb stones, you know, the red telephone boxes. There was nothing there for the Argentinians and they certainly didn't want them. Um, and when the, the, the islanders came out of their confinement at Douglas and came to us, that was, that was the most poignant part, I think, of the whole campaign, was that it, we knew then who it was for and what we were fighting for. Yeah, so it transitioned from for country to yes, for people. for the almost. people, absolutely. Yeah, very much so. But thank you for telling us about it. I mean, you've put it into words which many people couldn't do, so thank you. We, we, I, I was very lucky. I've, I've got to say a lot, of, a lot of the guys came back, especially one of my very good friends, suffering from post-traumatic stress. Um, and, I've, and because when we came back, I'm not saying it was a booze cruise, but we, we unwound and we relaxed on the way back from the Falklands. 4-5 went to Ascension Island, well, half of 4-5 commander went to Ascension Island and flew back from there. The rest remained on board camera. Uh, Canberra and landed at uh, Southampton with those fantastic pictures that you know you see with the, the boat coming in and the small boats supporting them and everything else. Um, and I think a lot of us managed to get the demons out of us on the way back. Some had more inbuilt demons and it's where people like the Royal British Legion fund those who actually can help um, with the PTS and everything else and, and, and get people sorted. And that's why you've got involved just a little bit, really, in helping the Royal British Legion, haven't you? No more than kind of helping, you know, sell poppies at uh, around Remembrance Day. You know, what, what more can you do? It's, it's engaging with the public. It's, it's asking them to give for those who have given so much. Um, so, yes, it doesn't take you know, a couple of hours on the street in Chester is, is, is not a lot to ask for, really. No, but not everyone does that. No, they don't. So you've given a life of service and then some more to help others. A little bit more to help, so yeah. If anyone can, mm -hmm. help in any way. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously you, you help out um, selling the poppies, which is fantastic. We'd love more people to do that. Mm. And at the Westminster Collection, of course, we've worked with the Royal British Legion for over a decade, producing commemorative coins. Um, we've actually given them over a million pounds now yeah. in donations, which is fantastic. But we think what you've done is, is far superior to that. And we'd like to say thank you to you, if that's okay. You don't know about this, but we've got a surprise for you. Okay. And it's sitting behind you. I'm going to go and grab it. Okay. <laughs> Let me just grab this. So, 
Every year, we work with the Royal British Legion to produce some coins. Okay. I'm going to present you with this. And this is Thank for you, you for right. your service. Wow, it's heavy. Uh, it is. Oh my gosh, look this at that. This is called the Royal British Legion Remembrance Poppy. Yeah. A masterpiece coin. Okay. It's five ounces of pure silver. Feel free to oh. get, it, get it right out. Okay, we will do. Um, now, every year we produce a masterpiece. This might be my favourite one that we've ever had. Yeah. Um, as I say, five ounces of silver, masterpiece poppy coin. The poppy there on the front, you're displaying that perfectly, thank you, is actually hand-painted uh, wow. by our in-house artist. And each one is hand-painted by him. Yep. There's 350 in the world, and that's all. Um, if you have a look at it, actually, you'll see there's actually an image of the Oh, Falklands. that is fantastic. That is beautifully painted. Yeah. There's an image of the Falklands there behind it, along with 39 other poppies. So that's 40 poppies. Yeah. The 40th anniversary, of course, this year of the Falklands wow. War. But yeah, we'd like you to have that. Um, oh, that is so kind. Our, Thank you. With our thanks. Hope you really enjoy that. You really deserve it. Thanks for your time and for your service to our country. Well, on behalf of Two Troop X Company 4-5 Commander, I say thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>